All right, so 25. We start from the inside and work our way out. So 25, G of H of 4N. Again, I prefer to write it like this. I suggest that you do it too. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug 4N into our H function. And so I've got it set up there on your paper, H of 4N. And so what I've done is I've taken the H function and I've left a blank where I see the variable N. And I've put a set of parentheses. And in those parentheses, I'm going to plug in the 4N. Okay. We square the 4 and we square the n. So that's 16n squared minus 1. And then we're going to plug that answer into g. We're going to plug that answer into g. So g was negative 3 times n. So leave yourself a space right there plus 4, plug in that function, 16n squared minus 1, distribute the negative 3, negative 48n squared plus 3, don't forget that plus 4 there on the end, so last step we're going to combine those constants negative 48n squared plus 7. Yes, sir. Because we've got two functions right here at the beginning, the g and the h, that means you're going to plug in the h, and then you're going to plug that result into g. So as opposed to the problems that we were doing at the very beginning, uh, let me pull that up, like here, yes, we have two functions, but they're not directly beside each other. It's four times, negative 4 times g plus 3 times h. They're separated there. In these examples, they're right side by side, so you know you're going to have to plug in twice. Okay? All right, let's do 26. Okay, let's do 26. We start with the inside there. We're going to start with h of t minus 2. So in our h function, where we see the variable, we leave ourselves a space with parentheses, and we plug in t minus 2 there. We distribute the 3, 3t minus 6, minus 5, and simplify, 3t minus 11. So then we're going to plug that into g. So where we see the variable, leave ourselves a space. Plug that function, 3t minus 11, in that space. Now, there's nothing in front of those parentheses, so we can just drop those parentheses, and we've got 3t minus 11 minus 3, so final answer, 3t minus 14. Now, if you wanted to use your calculator to check these like the other ones, um, the only difference, got x minus 3, three x minus 5, here in y3, where we have the y1 parentheses, y2, instead of just x, you've got to put what's inside those parentheses right there, x minus 2. Okay. And then put your answer 3x minus 14. And we'll get the tape. Okay? And match up. If I just had an x right there, it 
wouldn't have matched up. Okay, you got to type it in exactly how it looks there in the problem. Y1 of Y2 of X minus 2. If you're using the calculator, you check it. Okay? So, 